Hey there, everybody. It is Lee. It is Thursday, May 4th. Um, we got a lot going on. Let me, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes as we're working on the rollout of 2.0. Uh, explain some of the delays and explain what I'm doing. So, for instance, you can see we've upped the quality in the daily briefings. You can see that neat little title. Let's just roll it again. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Um, now, that title is actually more work than you'd think it is because I'm doing some workflow stuff so we can do these, video quick, these videos quickly. So I'm having to do uh, work behind the scenes in Final Cut and in Motion, which is a graphics program from Apple, so that the daily briefing graphics are super easy to do and consistent, stuff like that. Um, we're, do, we're working on graphic intros for all the lessons. We've got about, what, I think, seven or eight lessons filmed that are multi-camera shoots, very good content, and they're, they're not out yet because we're waiting on a brand new logo for Citizen Journalism School. And I don't want to have to rebrand. I want to get the logo done, add the opening title sequence. It's going to be short, but you'll see it makes a difference to these lessons and then get them output. Uh, but we're doing, uh, like I say, a new logo. We're gonna have consistent branding across the site. I got a list here of stuff that we're doing, then I'll get to questions. Um, one of the things we're gonna be adding is a weekend challenge. There will be prizes. Um, and the weekend challenge is something that everybody can do. It's a little bit of a contesty thing where I'm going to give you something short and easy to do on the weekend. This is designed to get you active. Um, we're going to have a survey that's going out to people very soon. We're going to be doing, like I mentioned, all the branding and color coordination and everything else. The color coordination is going to make it easy to figure out where you are on the site just by the color scheme. Um, uh, what else? Also, all the stuff that I mentioned in the 2.0 video, which is up at citizenjournalismschool.com. We're going to have an entirely new sales page. And again, all of this is free because you're part of the school. In other words, you're not going to pay anything extra. We're about to raise the price, but you're not going to pay anything extra. Okay. Uh, we, had, we had a few questions, and I, I think I can get to them quickly. Uh, question, first question is, do I use any kind of audio recording advice like a Philips video recorder? I use the, my iPhone. That's what I use. Uh, I, I do use the Zoom H6 for some stuff. I've talked about that before. That's what I'm using to do the audio recording right now. I'm not going to pick it up because we'd mess things up. Um, will I be including anything in the school on use of language, grammar, sentence structure, Yes. I'll give you the short version now. Read news writing. Short sentences are generally better. There's lots of good, there's lots of ways to do journalism though. There are people who really are writers, but when you're starting, I would suggest short and punchy winge. Uh, someone's asking about a story that I reported on. Did Valerie Jarrett actually move to the Obama House? They supplied a link. It seems to be in doubt. I was saying it because it was reported in the Daily Mail, and it seemed to be solid. Uh, but uh, an Obama spokesman has denied it. It doesn't really change much for me. Uh, Valerie Jarrett still is obviously a problematic. But the, the way this came up was I was mentioning Dina Powell's apparently friendly with Valerie Jarrett. And whether Valerie Jarrett's living in the Obama house or not, I'm not a fan of Valerie Jarrett's and I don't think any Trump supporters are. But thanks for pointing that out and I retweeted it on Twitter. Uh, final question, self-hosted WordPress versus WordPress.com. What's the difference? So self-hosted is it's your domain on a site that you control. WordPress.com means uh, you don't have as much fine level control. And if uh, WordPress.com decides to change their uh, 
rules, basically, you could be hosed. If they decide they don't want to host political blogs, not saying they would, but if they suddenly decided that, you're out of luck. Does that make sense? So um, I'm going to talk about some of this actually in the Build Your Media Empire course, which I'm going to get out semi-simultaneously with the 2.0 release. Uh, but again, we have branding stuff that I want to do. And I basically, by changing the logo, I don't want to change the logo again in three months. And so um, I talk about some of the reasons you'd use self-hosted versus WordPress.com in the Build Your Media Empire course, which will be out shortly. And I think if people are going to enjoy that course, it's a way to sell people on the big course. But if you're in the course already, there's going to be a lot of material in that that you're going to like as well. Okay, there you go. Thanks again. Keep sending the questions. We'll see you tomorrow with, I think we're, we're finalizing these lower third graphics. You'll see there's a lot of big changes coming and I'm really excited about 2.0 and I hope you will be too. Also, we're going to be taking some of your suggestions on courses and lessons, by the way. That's part of what we're doing as well. Anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.